Welcome to paint.net and this is going to be our setup page and video. So I've got paint.net open. You can get paint.net from your start menu um, and you will be able to bring it in from your start menu itself and just drag it over into your start panel. I put mine in my menu. Here I've simply opened it up. I've got the image that we are going to be creating or hoping to get towards. And because we're thinking about the water crisis, it's going to be a split between drought and actually being able to utilize rain for crops and life, etc. So to look around, we have several menus. We have our layers over here, which are very important. In our layers box, we are able to add a new layer. We are able to delete a layer. We are able to duplicate the layers if we want to duplicate layers. This will happen in the rain layer, especially. And then we're able to move layers up and down. So if I make a new layer here, I can bring this underneath and put it up above here. So I'm going to delete layer two because I don't need it. Over here, we've got our history. This is really important. We are able to go through our entire work here and just go back and undo any mistakes that we make. This is really super handy. Over here, we're able to see our colors. Now I've expanded this. You will probably see it like this. You can expand it. And the one bar that I generally go to is here. This bar here, the opacity helps me use my it helps me change my brush when I come to paint and we're going to be painting on here because we want to make the skies a bit darker so we're going to use black and we're going to use a very light um, black and create a, a, a much darker sky later on over here we've got our tools and this is really important because um, unlike Photoshop Photoshop has specific keys for each tool Paint.net doesn't. So you can see that I've got an S key here and my shortcut is S for this as well. So if I just toggle S while I'm in here, I should, if I just bring this in here, you can see that as I toggle S, it goes all the way through my selection tools. And that's quite handy because my selection tool, the one that we're gonna be using the most, is the magic wand. And the magic wand can take whole pieces of color out and we can delete whole pieces of color at the same time. In here I've got a move tool. So I've got two types of move, move tools and I'll be talking about this later um, because there are some little shortcuts that we can select on. So if we use this blue move tool, we're able to move um, whole chunks of um, image at the same time. You may at some point accidentally turn these off um, and this hap and this does happen, but you've got them to come back at the top here so you can bring them all back again. So you don't need to worry about losing those boxes. At the top, we've got our file as usual, open, uh, save, um, edit, copy, but we're gonna be using our shortcuts hopefully. Image, this is quite handy, crop to selection, because when you crop to the selection later on, um, this, in here, let's go and select that bit there. When I go to cropped to selection, it means that if, for example, this tree was bigger than the actual image itself, I was able to crop to selection later on and I was able to bring this image back to normal. So if I just undo this, if I go into my history here, I can show you really quickly that I can go back to normal like that and it will bring back all faults and errors. Layers, as I just showed you. Layer properties, there's a layer properties tool down here that um, I didn't mention. The layer properties tool is going to be really handy, especially when we come to, uh, if I just bring that back up so you can see this, when we come to changing um, the what's called the opacity it depends on how see-through or transparent this thing is so if you look closely you can see that the drought the desert 
is actually under this grass here and the grass is just simply brought um, to make, make it look like it's see-through because of the opacity and that's it. So we're going to come to those later on but that is basically an introduction to what paint.net actually is.